Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Sunday, January 26th, 2025. There by Banff, Canada, they had a magnitude 4.2 earthquake. And this was along the Sulphur Mountain Thrust Fault. Um, many of these mountains here have glaciers, so it could be like a, a glacier rebound type earthquake. Or it could be caused by the glaciers and snow melting trickling down about three kilometers into the ground, uh, creating these earthquakes also. The earthquake occurred at about 3.39 a.m. local time, I believe. I could be wrong. Or 5.39 a.m. central daylight time. It could be from the water trickling down through the uh, rock there because the earthquake was 3.7 miles in depth. And that would be uh, about the location where the water is, is um, sinking down in, you know, going down in through the rock. Now, the Rocky Mountains of Canada consist of a number of northwest southeast trending ranges. The main range forms its backbone and the front ranges are towards the east. The Banff National Park area extends eastward from the Continental Divide to the eastern slope of the main range and much of the front ranges that includes the mountains around the town of Banff. And that is right here. The foothills of the Rockies are located to the east of the park between Calgary and Canmore. Uh, the Banff National Park has several easily accessible glaciers and ice fields and small kirks are fairly common that are situated in depressions on the side of the mountains. Now, Sulphur Mountain, um, this thrust fault on the east-facing slope of the mountain is located west of Banff. And that's what I got drawn out in red here. The thermal springs that they have in the area result from this fault and the evolution of the Banff Spring Snail, which is confined to the thermal springs, are found along this thrust fault zone. As the water or snow falls on the Sulphur Mountains, it sinks underneath almost 3.2 kilometers, or about 1.9, almost 2 miles below the surface, and it gets heated when the hot water reaches the Sulphur Mountain Thrust Fault. It comes to the surface as springs, these hot springs. And during the past few years, supposedly, many of these thermal springs have been gradually drying up. I got an image here for you. This here is Sulphur Mountain, and it shows how the rain and snow um, falls on the uh, western side of the mountain. And it percolates down into the crust of the earth and then comes up on the uh, western side where the Sulphur Mountain Thrust Fault Zone is and creates these hot springs. I did a bunch of research uh, not too long ago because there was some other earthquakes not too long ago to the north. You can see here we got a, um, a 5.0 uh, in Alberta or close to Alberta. Now that was in 2023, March 16th. Let's see, we got a 4.2. That was when? October of last year. We got a 4.6. That was also October of last year. Um, the 24th, it looks like. We got a 4.8. Um, August 24th of last year. And we got a 4.4, which was April of last year. You know, there's, there's been quite a few of them. And you can see this small area of quakes and then today's 4.2. Yeah, any earthquake has a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. And it is winter and it is a remote um, location. I don't see any reports sent into USGS, but that doesn't mean that these earthquakes weren't felt um, in Banff. But there might not be a lot of people, you know, being wintertime. If you felt this earthquake, please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. 
and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.